Alright, hey guys, I'm back. Um, got the second part of my haul. This next one is going to be uh, Tuesday morning. And Blitzy and one thing from Amazon. Um, so the first thing that I got from Amazon was some new cutting plates, obviously. <laughs> I've used the heck out of them. I made some cards for my mom for her birthday so that she could send cards to all of her friends. Um, they love sending each other snail mail, so I uh, cut out a lot of stuff for that. So I needed some new cutting plates. My other one split in half this way. So bought these. I want to say that they were like $7 on Amazon. And they're also teal, which is a bonus Jonas. Bonus Jonas uh, from Blitzy. Oh my gosh. They've got new gorgeous girls. Look how adorable she is. Oh my gracious. I absolutely love her. Um, this one is Little Fishes. Little Fishes. She's so stinking cute. Um, and then I just had to get the mermaid. My mom is kind of obsessed with mermaids lately. Why is this not focusing? There we go. Um, saw this on Blitzy. Absolutely had to have her. And, um... She is called a washed. Very cute. Um, oh, these were seven sixty-five a piece. And then I had to get this one. I am in love with this one. She is so sweet. Um, she's flying by a balloon. The balloon is pulling her up into the air. Really, really cute. And she is fly away with me. Um, I think that they had one other new one, new set. I did not get that one. Um, just didn't appeal to me all that much. Uh, I may be obsessed with the gorgeous girls, but I do only get the stamp sets that I will actually use and actually love. So, yeah. Last thing that I got from Blitzy was the Graphic 45 Midnight Masquerade. Um, you guys know that Graphic 45 is my absolute favorite paper company. Lately, I have not really been into any of their new stacks. I don't know what it is. I guess because I'm so used to the old vintage... Um, maybe steampunk kind of style stuff that they have, that all of the new collections have not appealed to me. I needed $30 so that I could get free shipping from Blitzy. And I do love the colors of this stack. Not so much the imagery. I mean, it's okay. It's just not my favorite. So I decided to get the 8x8 eight eight of this stack. I figured if I ended up liking it, then I can go ahead and invest in the 12x12, 12 12, but for now, I'm just going to stick with the 8x8. Eight eight. Um, and if I do end up liking it, if I had liked it in the beginning, I would have eventually gotten the 8x8 eight eight with the 12x12 12 12 anyway, so if I like it, I'll get the 12x12. 12 12. Okay, that was a really long explanation for that one little 8x8 eight eight pack. Okay, moving on to Tuesday morning. I'm pretty sure this isn't everything that I got from Tuesday morning, um, but I had put a lot of this stuff away. I did get four of the Ranger dye ink pads. This one is Rain Cloud. It's kind of a dark gray. These were $1.99 a piece, as you can see. I got Coco, my favorite color. I got Seaside, absolutely gorgeous. And I got Raven. I have used these. They stamp really well. I'm very pleased with these. And especially for only being $1.99. They had a whole bunch of other colors there as well. I got this stencil paint turquoise. It's extremely thick, which is fine. Um, I ended up 
mixing it with some white acrylic paint uh, which thinned it down a lot which is good because I feel like you're I'm gonna get more use out of this teeny tiny jar I believe that this is three or 1.7 fluid ounces this was a dollar ninety nine I got this uh, card and mat pad for $1.99. Uh, originally 40 uh, sheets. I used more than half of the pad. This is what I made my mom's cards out of to give to her friends. So I um, already dug into that quite a bit. I got this Sizzix embossing folder set. I'd been looking at this set for quite a while. Um, just wasn't willing to pay full price for it, but they had it on clearance. And I want to say that I got it for $3.49 or something like that. Not the best deal, but it was the last one and I wanted to grab it before it was gone. So I got this one. This is um, Dress dress Form Set is the name of this one. I got this box to alter and put my mom's cards in. Obviously, this I did not get the box for its design. I got it for its functionality. I still have to alter this. Um, I've been really sick and going through some more health issues, which is typical for me. So I haven't been able to get into the craft room and do it. But um, I went ahead and picked this up, and this was $3.99 for that couple more clearance items. I got this stamp and die set from Hampton Arts. This was $10.99 and it was on clearance. I want to say that I paid somewhere around $5 for this set and $5 for this set as well. I had been eyeing this set since it first released, um, what, like three years ago, two years ago, something like that. So happy that I found it on clearance. Um, last but not least, I got the Graphic 45 Children's Hour. Again, not my favorite. Um, it is a calendar set. You do get two sheets each. I started to make a calendar for my mom for her birthday, and then I got really sick. So I ended up only being able to make the cards. I do have the calendar started. I do plan on finishing it and giving it to her at some point. It just won't, obviously now it won't be for a birthday gift. All right, so I do have a little bit more time. I'm going to go ahead and move on to Joann's and um, Walmart. I do have just a couple of things. From Joann's, I have this absolutely gorgeous fabric. I got a yard of it, and it was relatively inexpensive. I think I paid like four fifty for it. It's antique. It's a cream color, and it does have some color variation in it, almost like it's um, tea stained. Uh, color's not picking up very well uh, right now, but I do have plans for this. I'm going to be making a book, and this is going to be the cover of the book. From Walmart, I was super excited to find this. Um, it's a cafe letter board. It is 11 by 16, comes with 145 pieces, including alphabets, numbers, and symbols. I already have it out of the box, as you can see. So this is everything that comes in it. And um, I figured out that you can actually take out the board itself, it's just like a frame, uh, which I've already unhooked the backs, and I plan to do that, and I plan to paint this, obviously, um, turquoise. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right there, because I'm right at almost 10 minutes, and my last and final video will be a Michaels haul for you guys that I did yesterday. Got a lot of really great stuff, including a lot of clearance stuff you guys might want to see. Um, so... Stick around, check that out. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I will be right back.